Hi, y'all. I'm Pastor Claire Chance from Avondale United Methodist Church, where everybody is welcome. I don't know about you, but I've become a bit news-worn. I'm kind of sick of hearing that everything is and always will be depressing. So I want to remind you of Jesus' classic talk about worrying, about having enough of what you need. It comes to us from Matthew 6. Jesus said, Therefore I say to you, don't worry about your life, what you'll eat or what you'll drink, or about your body, what you'll wear. Isn't life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds in the sky. They don't sow seed or harvest grain or gather crops into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Aren't you worth much more than they are? Who among you, by worrying, can add a single moment to your life? That last part is especially meaningful to me. We get nothing positive by worrying. We don't get more money, more love, or more time. So today, I want us to really understand that not knowing the future is okay. And we need to remember that there have always been gloom and doom folks, people who predict the worst. Nobody really knows what the future will look like, which is why Jesus tells us to do the best we can to live in the present. Let me share just three future predictions from our past. First, George Fielding Elliott, the famous military hero in the 1900s, wrote in 1938, a Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor is a strategic impossibility. Whoops! Second, Daryl Zanuck, head of 20th Century Fox Film Studio, was quoted in 1946 saying, television won't be able to hold on to any market it captures after the first six months. People will soon get tired of staring at a wooden box every night. I'm glad he can't see Tony and me enjoying Prime Video each evening. <laughs> Zanuck would be so embarrassed. Third, from Science Digest, the leading scientific journal of the middle 20th century, printed this in 1948. Landing and moving around on the moon offers so many serious problems for human beings that it may take science another 200 years to lick them. <laughs> um, try 23 years. They were only wrong like, you know, 10 times over. So when the newscasters tell you that our economy will never recover or that we will never be able to end social distancing or worse yet, that the pandemic is not real, it's some kind of conspiracy of one political group or another, don't you believe them? Believe only the true medical and scientific experts who tell you where we are right now and what you need to do to stay safe. Trust all the rest to Jesus. He can handle the load. He always has. And the one thing I know for sure about the future is that he always will. Let's take a minute and pray together. Dear Lord, calm our hearts in these uncertain times. Reinforce the certainty that matters most, our trust in you and your love. And God, we pray for people who are truly suffering with the physical, emotional, and economic needs during this pandemic. Inspire us to be helpers, reaching out to others with love and support. In your holy name we pray, Jesus. Amen. See you on Sunday's live stream at 845 on YouTube. Our YouTube channel is A-U-M-C-J-A-X. AUMC Jacks. Let's be together in the spirit until we can be together in person. <laughs>